And Democrats have guaranteed themselves at least a tie-breaking vote in the Senate after races in Nevada and Arizona were projected to be wins over the weekend. Democrats now have a 50-49 majority, with the last seat in Georgia being decided in a runoff election next month. For more on that, let is, let's bring in Shannon McCaffrey. She's a politics reporter at the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Shannon, thank you very much for being here. Uh, there's a lot of variables in this race, uh, including a shorter campaign window, a window for, uh, for getting out the vote and then early voting in this runoff when people compare it to the one from two years ago that brought Raphael Warnock into the Senate in the first place. So how will this shorter window affect things, if at all? Well, yeah, I mean, it, this is an incredibly short window now, um, you know, th basically four weeks, but one of them is pretty much already gone. So three weeks to go. Um, I think, you know, in the previous runoff, you had nine weeks, and I think there was a little bit more time for fundraising and for recalibrating. Here, we are just seeing folks get right back out there again. They are um, getting as much money in their campaign war chests as they are able to, and, and there's a lot of national attention, so that helps. But in terms of, you know, campaigning, you know, we were out with both candidates yesterday. They are back on the stump again and ready to go. You know, I, I'm curious, you, you were writing that this race is more than an afterthought for Democrats and a consolation prize for Republicans. I'm just curious about how the campaigns are framing the stakes since this election will not change the balance of power in the Senate. I'm sure pre people are pretty exhausted by now of the campaigns, but they still got to go and vote. Yeah, uh, in Georgia, we're getting uh, very, very used to um, very, very long campaigns where you have to go out multiple times. Um, and I think voters are a little bit weary of it. But I mean, I think I think um, the Democrats, President Biden yesterday actually framed it this way. He said it's better to have 51 votes than 50. And a, de a Senate that is deadlocked, you do you have tied committee uh, chairmanships, et cetera. So I think they would like to have a bit of a cushion. As we've seen, you know, they have struggled to get some of their big ticket items through because they haven't quite had the votes. They've had to land, you know, they've had to line everyone up. So 51 would be a good, uh, a good number for them to have, give them a little breathing room. You know, Herschel Walker is still going after Biden. Um, and, you know, his argument and their campaign's argument is that Biden is still incredibly unpopular in Georgia. He's got a 38% approval rating here. So, you know, they think that message will still resonate with folks, even if he's not going to break the tie. Super interesting. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, political heady, heavy hitters uh, called in to campaign for each potential senator, one current senator, one potential senator, I should say. Uh, who can we expect uh, to make a trip to the Peach State in the next three weeks? Well, we haven't had, we don't have anything official yet. Um, so, you know, we're, we're speculating a bit, but you know, the big question is, will Donald Trump come and uh, campaign for Herschel Walker? He didn't during um, the general election campaign. You know, there's a split in thinking on this. There are some people who think that, you know, Donald Trump would be very, very polarizing and, and keep independence away. However, you know, a run out is just getting, a, um, excuse me, a runoff is about getting your, um, your core voters back out to the polls. And, you know, there is no one who is better about getting that sort of core, hardcore Republican base out than Donald Trump. You know, and on the Democratic side, we saw President Obama come down during the general election. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes again toward the end. So, you know, you might see, um, you might see two former presidents. The one person I do not think we'll see is President Biden, because as I mentioned, um, his approval is not great in Georgia right now. That's right. I mean, it might be an opportunity for uh, former President Trump himself to start campaigning if he makes that announcement tomorrow. Shannon McCaffrey, thank you.